I, ha I have um, a virtual machine running and uh, things could be complicated because of Zoom, who knows? Anyhow, um, tonight's agenda is utilities to customize windows, power toys, power toys, power toys, wind arrow tweaker, and we have some other things that I've added in as, as we go through this. Um, I'm calling them utilities again, uh, but they refer to them as shortcuts, and we'll we'll see exactly uh, what they can do for you should you want them. Um, you'll see when we when we do run the power toys that you will have shortcut keys to activate them, and a lot of them use the Windows key. That's the flag. Uh, typically in the lower left and lower right, in the middle between the control and the alt key. We, we've done some shortcuts with that Windows key before, and they use different combinations of other keys. Now, this one is not part of Power Toys, but in, in order to show the shortcuts that we have discussed before, if you hold the Windows key down and then do a shift and the slash or question mark, uh, whether you're considering it lowercase or uppercase, it will give you a guide to the shortcuts that we've discussed before. And to close that, you hit escape. So let's all try that. Hold down the Windows key, the shift key, and a slash. And you should get something that looks like this. Yep. So um, when you when you see the D, for example, um, if, if you do the Windows key in the letter D, that will display or hide, it's a toggle, the desktop. And if you do Windows key in the E, that opens up File Explorer. And can, the Windows key in the letter H would be allowing you to dictate, voice dictation, especially in Word. Um, or it should work also in email. I don't recall if it, it did or not, but it should work in email. And this is just a handy dandy way of referencing these shortcuts. Control, uh, not control, but the Windows key, shift and the slash or the question mark. And to close it, you hit the escape key. The escape key could just get you out of that. Any question, any comment? Um, I'm not going to do that tonight, but anybody have any shortcuts they, they use that they found useful? Yeah. Well, I, I, I use, use the, Windows R quite often. Say again, uh, Richard. Windows R for bringing up that run command. Oh, Windows R. Okay, what uh, Richard's yeah. talking about to get to the command line. To get to the yeah. command line that. No, the run, that'll bring you to the run window. Try it. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. But right, right. What I I usually use that for is a is a is a way of getting to the command line because then I type type in CMD A A D M I N. Yeah, yeah. It's technically just a run from the window from uh, from the the Windows end, but I use it to get to the command line. Any other comment about the? Uh, I use Windows Shift S. And that does what? That brings up the uh, snap, the snapping tool, Windows snap tool to snap a picture okay. of the desktop. Snipping, snipping tool. Snipping Snip, tool. Snipping tool. There we go. Well, I use that a lot also. Yep. Okay. And, and I've just typed in a command in the chat, shell apps folder, which if you do do a Windows run, Windows R, that command uh, shell apps folder brings up a list of all the programs you've got on the computer. And you can right, right click on any of them and add them as a shortcut, either on the command line or in, in the start folder, or even create a shortcut on the desktop. So that's potentially quite a useful uh, little item. Okay, Richard, you, and you said you put that in the chat? 
Yes, the, the shell apps folder. Okay. But if you run that under the Windows R, I'll say it will bring up a list of all the programs you've got. Okay. And that's that's useful to keep in mind. Uh, anybody have any questions or any any links? Uh, do use the chat judiciously to uh, put them. Uh, that's the first thing that I post in groups.io, the results of the uh, of the chat. Okay. Does that one work on Windows 11, Richard? Um, I believe so. Well, I, I haven't got Windows 11 here. <laughs> well, I'm I'll, still try, I'll try it later. Well, it's really well, handy. Well, let's, yeah. let, 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 let me see. Um, okay, so I'm going to go. Uh, uh, my taskbar is really messing me up tonight. Yeah. Now it's the Zoom taskbar. Yeah. Control. Oh. It works in 11. I just Windows did it. R first. I, yeah, Windows R. Okay. All right, Windows R. And then, and then what? And then type in that shell colon apps folder. Can you spell that out for me? I'm not. I just copied it out. I just copied it out of the the uh, chat and put it in there, and it brings up the folders. That's yeah. what it does. And I'm on Windows 11. Yeah, because I'm doing Zoom, I have to hide. I have to hide. So oh, uh, I'm not seeing the chat. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll try it later. I'll try it later. Okay. S H E L L. That's what I heard correctly. S H E L L. Yep. Colon. A P P S. F O L D E R. Apps folder is all one word. Right yeah, one word. just like that. No spaces. Okay. Return. Okay. That's what I got. Yep. Okay. And then if you right click on any of them, it'll give you the options for adding them in as a shortcut. In. You have to right click or left click. No, right click, see you get that drop down. Yep. You can create short but pin it to the taskbar. Okay, it'll just my on. desktop. All right. Yep. My computer yeah. is over here as a shortcut. Yeah. Got it. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Mm. Anybody else have any comment or any question about what Richard just told us yeah i mean that's that's great i i was using uh the in windows 10 the task bar you can show uh desktop and you can hide what's on the desktop that shows what's in the desktop folder and that's how i was getting a list of all the programs like this in Windows 11, the taskbar doesn't have that feature anymore. So this gives you the ability to have an alphabetized list of all the programs, even more than are on your desktop. So this is very handy. And you could probably adjust the size of it to make it uh, more condensed. Is isn't this why why I'm looking at mine? It says quick access. Is it, this is oh this is not the same as this is applications. Where is the this coming from? Applications. Not, well, that's that's not, that shell thing. It's, it's uh, not, not telling me a path. Is that it? Just says applications here, but it's not showing a path of where this is coming from. Yeah. That's because well, you it, said shell, <laughs> and that invoked a shell. A program from a shell, okay. So this is not the file explorer anymore, really. No, no, it's not. But I was just wondering why it's saying application. So applications, I was just trying to get a path, and I'm not getting a path. Well, there is a folder marked up at the top. This one? All the way at the yeah. top? 
if you right click on one of those ah, no. mm -hmm. items, can you get its properties? No properties on the, on the individual items. Hmm. Uh, different items will come up with different. Uh... <laughs> Well, homework. Navigation pane is a check mark here. That means you're showing the navigation pane on the left. If you unchecked it, that left column would disappear. Well, it changed the way this was laid out, too. Well, you clicked on something that turned on a preview. Yes, I did. Yeah. So. Ah, okay. We got now we got a details pane over here. Okay, but I'm not seeing any details. No, no, that's the preview pane. You turned on the preview pane. I think I turned on everything. If you're in Windows 11, I think Alt P will turn off the preview pane. Okay, I have the details pane, which is on the right. That little thing appeared on the right. And layout i'm just doing a lay it's just a layout preview pane uh, it's not showing anything there's a previews on the right but you got to click something on the left first like clock then it'll show it on the right nope nope all right it's worth experimenting with i yep. i yeah, it's it's definitely worth experimenting with. Well, that's a shortcut that you might want to know, which is Alt P turns on the preview pane. So if you're in a place that has photos or documents, you can turn the preview pane on with that in the Windows 11 File Explorer. Of course, they now have put the preview pane button into that line, the gray line in the Windows 11 file John, explorer. John, John, rather than talk about it, let, let's actually show that. Uh, show me where you want me to go to show that, because that, that's one of the things that I find a great need for, to be able to- Well, something. if you click in documents in the left, so that you got documents, now you have a preview pane and it's going and getting, well, you're in downloads. You. So now you got a document. If you pick some document that's innocuous to you, just pick any one. It says no preview available right now. Maybe the maybe the file no longer exists. Scroll down to an existing file. A picture is a good one to choose. Uh, don't. You just cause yourself problems if you head to another folder. You don't have any more. Hello world, ODT. Use the Liberty Bell WMF. Liberty Bell, okay. WMFs do not have a preview. If you can get me a preview of that, I would appreciate it. Uh, that's the old Windows uh, meta file. Try the pic try the pictures on the left. Try the pictures folder on the left and see if that if that works. If you do a picture, yeah, folder, click the pictures folder and see right. if a picture will right. come up. By the way, when I did Alt P, this is what came up. Alt P on Liberty Bell. That's that's not what I would call preview again. Well, you turned off the preview pane. I did. Okay. Yeah, you Please. noticed right now you have two panes. Yeah. The one on the left, which is the navigation pane. Yeah. The one in, that's there, which is the details pane. And mm -hmm. there's no preview pane on the right. If you say Alt P, that's you will right get here. a pane. Alt P. At, okay. As Bob suggested, go to pictures. See, now you got another pane. That's the preview pane. And there is none. There's no preview for that. Go, in, go, to, I, go to the left and click on pictures, the one underneath documents. And now, yeah, if you click on that, there's your preview. You get the preview. Okay, but my my point is with WMF, WMF Windows Meta file, I do not get previews as we are seeing it. 
something has to be added. Are you getting previews of WMF files? Uh, I don't usually use WMF files. Yeah, but... w WMF files are a hybrid. They're, they're both vector and bitmap. And they're very difficult. Uh, I, I have to actually open them up in, in my wife's computer. In... It's a Windows metal file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, a metal file, meaning that it's it's really a hybrid. It's, it's, it's part vector and part bitmap. So yeah, I use I use a program called Quick Look, which is a free program. Uh, in addition to the File Explorer preview, and if I've selected a file and I press the space bar, Quick Look will open that up as a preview. Okay. And, and it's more extensive because it allows you to see a, for example, a PDF much more clearly. Okay. So, so Quick right. Look. Is a free program. All right, I'm going to do a Windows Power Toy, which will also allow you to see uh, a preview of sorts, and that's part of what we're doing tonight. So, let me enable Win uh, Windows Power Toys or Microsoft Power Toys. I'm going to run it. And what you download it just from the Windows. Um... Uh, the Windows uh, Shop. I'm sorry. Uh, say again, uh, Bob. You you downloaded this from the Windows Shop, the Windows uh, Store. No, no. I got I got it from uh, Tech Republic. Well, it's it's from Microsoft. I think it's from Microsoft's website. You know, the Microsoft bought bought Tech Republic from years ago. Tech Republic used to give these power toys back in for Windows ninety eight. Windows 95. <laughs> 95. Right, you're right. It was 95. You're right. It was 95 back then. Yeah. All right. What, what, what we're, what we're going to show now is uh, these these are uh, some of the power toys. Um, and one of them is Peak. Okay. And the uh, switch here indicates that they are on, but they're not activated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate it. Um, and to activate it is control space. So the control key, let me get the, um, let's see, I was in File Explorer. No, I wasn't in File Explorer, but let me go in, let me just go into File Explorer. And um, if I uh, get the focus on the on the uh, object, whether it be a graphic or a PDF or a Word document or even a spreadsheet, and hold down the what was it Control and Space, Control and Space. Let's see what happens. Nada. Oh, something happened behind the scenes. I think I turned it on and turned it off. I clicked on the wrong one. All right. I mean, we already see a preview here, but let's see what control space does. Okay, control space peeks into a file and gives you a preview also. No big whoop, huh? So the preview is, is really sufficient here. Let me see if I have something where we have in documents. Uh, what? You, you are not showing the address bar. Like in the view, if, if you click on view, does it show? No. Yeah, no. Yeah. Are you talking about this address bar? Yeah, make this full screen. Yeah. Where do you want me to go from here? Well, the thing is that on my Windows 11, over on the right side, up near the top, there is now a button that says preview. 
you may have to turn that on. All right, it says down on the lower right, it says so. Yeah, that's the preview uh, pane. Yeah. I'm talking about there being a button that you click to turn on the preview pane. Maybe I turned that, uh, maybe I added that as an option. But I'm clicking on show and preview pane. Yeah, but that's that's just, yeah. you see that's the check the mark? Paper. That just controls it, but you don't want to have to do that every time. No, no. Details pane, no. No, it's not in there. It's in the options, probably. Options. Uh, view. Always show icons, never thumbnails, always show menus, display icon, display full path. Just clicking clicking on the display, the full path and the title bar. That's always useful. Okay. Uh, uh, don't show hidden file. Restore previous show, drive letters. Show preview. Okay, now uh, this is um, an older version, perhaps of Windows 11. In all honesty, uh, don't forget I'm running in a virtual machine, but this is oh, no. for Windows 11. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, do we show the full path? If I click on the drop down, no, it's still not showing the full path. Where is the full path? You. You might have to close it and open it back up. Okay, close and open back up. Pictures. Okay, uh, usually if I click in here, I, the drop down, I usually get the full path. No, I'm not getting that. Yeah, hey, let, let me continue a little bit more with this peak. And let's see if we can view a spreadsheet. So um, let me select this one. Probably looks very generic. And um, there was control space bar. And yeah. Uh, are you, did you say that you're doing this in a virtual machine that does not have office installed it does not have office installed that's why you're not getting a preview of an excel file okay let me see if i have something more generic in my main computer can you still see my computer yeah All right, let me see if i have something more generic here That's office, but let me see if I can get to the. Um, uh, install Win Arrow here. Uh, not Win Arrow, Power Toys. Power Toys, Power Toys, Power Toys, Power Toys, Power Toys. Power Toys. Sorry, something went wrong. Oh, that's ASAP Utilities. Okay, we don't care about that tonight. All right, I have Power Toys installed. Now, let me go into um, File Explorer. File Explorer. And we want to go into desktop and May 11th workshop. Let's go to Excel workshop. 
right now I want to peek into one of these guys here. So this is a workshop. Uh, I'm going to do control space bar. Well, that certainly didn't work. Oh, no, it's launching. Actually, it's launching it, I think. I think I might have activated it. It's supposed to peek into it. It is not peeking into it. Let me try that again. It worked in, in rehearsal. There we go. No, nope. that, that's launching it. That's not peeking into it. Hmm. I think Zoom is a factor here. What, what Peak does, it gives you a miniature to let you see the contents. It worked with pictures. It worked with spreadsheets. It worked with PDF files. So this is from our Excel workshop. And this is actually open. I didn't want to open it. Did not want to open it. Trying to get out of here now. Okay. All right. Let me let me try another one uh, from the Windows Workshop. And let's see. This is a JPEG. Control spacebar. Nada. Let me make sure I have Power Toys running. I thought I had Power Toys running. And yeah, Power Toys is running. And Peak is Control in the space bar. Quick and easy preview. So much for that with I think Zoom is a factor, to be honest, because it worked perfectly, again, with documents, with spreadsheets, with PDF. I shall try. Probably it needs to work with Windows Explorer. I don't think it has to be Windows Explorer. Well, I am in Windows Explorer. Are you, are you saying I have to be in File Explorer? Richard? Yeah, oh, so yeah File Explorer. That's the one. Oh, all right. That, I, looks, all right, well, so that looks totally different to what comes up on mine. Right, this is File Explorer. And if I have it focus on it, control in the space bar. Uh, yeah, I, I think Zoom is, is interfering. I don't know if that's going to do anything more. I shall try one more time before I give up. Oh, there it went. Okay. I actually had to select it a little bit more. All right. So here we have a peak control space bar. Oh, control space bar. Uh, control space. What did I say? Control space. Yeah. Control space. Yeah. All right. So this is uh, a JPEG. And let me see if I can. Wait, and I just tried that on a text file, and it opened up Notepad. You must have double clicked on it. Uh, uh, you must have opened it rather than peek at it. Control space. Yeah, right. Well, uh, oh no, it didn't open it. It it opened up and it says I can't open it in space bar. Oh, okay, so, what it does? So that, that's it does, working. It does open it with some something. Here it says it's open with photos. So yes, if it was a text file, it might probably say open with no uh, notepad or something that you have that will identify with the extension. All right, so it's, yeah, it just worked on a docx. All right, so uh, I do have a PDF I could probably open too. 
And these are, that's good. Peak is pretty good. If it works. <laughs> it just worked for me on PDF, StockX, text. Okay. And I'm going to pictures and... <laughs> 